Take more and more drastic measures to combat the spread of coronavirus. The question on many people's minds is why wasn't this necessary with other recent outbreaks? Yeah, I went as investigator David Hammer took a look at the coronavirus, the swine flu and the deadly flu of 2018 and filed this report about them. President Donald Trump has repeatedly compared this new coronavirus with the H1N1 swine flu outbreak in 2009. Last week, he said this. If you go back and look at the swine flu and what happened with the swine flu, you'll see how many people died and how actually nothing was done for such a long period of time as people were dying all over the place. We tracked the number of H1N1 swine flu cases in 2009 from the date of the first reported death and compared that with the number of COVID-19 cases since the first death was reported in Washington State on February 29th. We found the number of confirmed cases of swine flu and COVID-19 increased very similarly over 16 days. We're now at over 4,200 confirmed COVID-19 cases, according to the CDC. At the same stage in 2009, there were 3,300 H1N1 cases. But contrary to what Trump said, the death rate is much worse this time around. The U.S. is now up to 75 COVID-19 deaths. 16 days after the first swine flu death, there were only three reported deaths. The CDC estimates about 12,000 Americans ended up dying from swine flu in 2009 and 2010. The CDC director at that time now says more than a million Americans could die from COVID-19 if we don't slow the spread. Most people don't realize H1N1 is now part of our seasonal flu. Dr. Frank Welch is Louisiana's medical director for emergency preparedness. He spoke with WWL-TV medical reporter Meg Ferris about why COVID-19 warrants this stronger response. The challenge with COVID-19 is that we're all eligible to become sick and spread the disease all at the same time. It's not spread out over time. Less than two years ago, the seasonal flu killed 61,000 Americans and 1,400 people in Louisiana, but it didn't overwhelm our hospitals. We need to take these extreme measures to uh, 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 combat the addition of COVID-19 to everything else we have been experiencing. David Hammer. Eyewitness News. Welch said our health system was able to handle the severe flu outbreak of 2018 because it was spread out from November all the way to June.